It's so easy to watch other people pursuing their dreams. It's so easy to watch other people and talk about them and say, ha, ha, look what they did wrong, look what they did wrong, they messed up, ah, look at them fall, that's so funny. But the issue with that is if you're watching somebody else fall, then you're not playing the game of your own life. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors? And welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And today we're talking about the blueprint to success. Before we even get into today's content, I want to let you know that if you're not subscribed and if you're not following the podcast, be sure to go to SYS Podcast 1 on all social media platforms. Uh, You can follow us there. Or if you'd like to follow my own personal page, you can go to Jonathan Jones Speaks. Or type in Jonathan J Speaks and it'll pop up on any social platform. However, the blueprint to success, I, I, I had a presentation to where I went down to Arkansas, Batesville, Arkansas, my first time. Really enjoyable. They made me really feel like I was at home. And during this time, I spoke on the blueprint to success. So I'm going to share that clip with you all. And then after we're going to un- come back, we're going to unpack it a little bit. And then I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear your thoughts. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into the Blueprint for Success clip. Here it is. The Blueprint to Success. The formula broken down, it looks like this. The D. We're talking about foundation. The D starts with everybody. This is the tangible application part. Someone's like, John, I didn't get any notes. I didn't get nothing. Well, this is the tangible part. The D. Make a decision. Make a decision. Somebody might say, John, I can't achieve my goals. I can't get to where I want to. You have to make a decision on what you want first. The second part of the blueprint, the passion. Yes, this is a saw. It's not a power saw because I don't want to get in trouble with Mr. Freeze or anybody else. But it's a saw. The saw represents the passion. Just like I told you off, you're struggling to start a conversation with somebody else. Identify what your passion is. For the person in the back of the room who says, John, I don't know what my passion is. I've never thought about it. Well, take some time and identify what that thing is that gets you emotional. It gets you riled up. You get so excited to do this in the morning. What's that passion that's driving you? Because once we make a decision to commit and then we add the passion, that's like putting gas in your car. It gets us going. Strategy. Strategy, strategy, strategy. How do I create a strategy, John? I would advise you to connect with somebody who's doing what you want to do. I know this is like the social media generation for all of us, right? This social media. If you can find that person on social media, or even if they have any type of social media, you can follow them and just watch what some people do. That's the easy version. Or you can reach out to them. See if somebody's willing to be your mentor. Seeing if you can follow in some steps that they've taken, seeing what worked for them, seeing what books they read, different stuff like that. Develop a strategy. And then lastly, this one's my favorite part. The action. It's so easy to watch other people pursuing their dreams. It's so easy to watch other people and talk about them and say, ha ha, look what they did wrong, look what they did wrong, they messed up, ah, look at them fall, that's so funny. But the issue with that is if you're watching somebody else fall, then you're not playing the game of your own life. If you're too busy on the sidelines of a game, you're not in the middle of the action. So you have to make a decision, you have to commit to that process You add in your passion because you began to take that passion and then that ultimately helps you put together a strategy because you're excited about something. You're like, oh my goodness, John had me close my eyes. He had me envision a house. Man, this is so exciting. Then you open your eyes and you say, wow, I saw the house. 
I'm at the blueprint. What can I begin to fill in the middle? How can I fill in the space? How can I fill in the blanks? What does that look like? And then once you put that strategy together, then you take your action. And we all have the ability to do all of these things because I created this formula and I hate math. But I figured that it might help somebody else out. So I said, this might be, this might be beneficial. So the blueprint to success, the blueprint to life, honestly, if we just weave in these things, I don't feel that there's an area that this doesn't apply. If you're studying nursing, if you're a high school student getting ready to transition to college, even if we're adult learners and even if we're grown, like we're grown, grown, like we have bills and all that other stuff, we can still apply this stuff and this will work for a business plan. So today I want to I want to just challenge you all just in that. Just take some time and just be able to identify what will best serve you going through this particular blueprint. Because when we began to apply this, like I said, it works. It works. Now friends, you've you've seen the video. You've heard the presentation, you've heard the clip. Now I'm, I'm interested to hear from you if you're following us on YouTube and you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, just go right down in the bottom in the comment section and, and just put in your comments, your thoughts and what you thought about the presentation, what you thought about the formula and what you thought about the different aspects of the particular blueprint to success. Because I love hearing you all's thoughts. I love engaging with you all and even the podcast listeners. I especially love when you all share your thoughts. You're like, John, you should talk about this or you should address this because each and every one of us has the ability to create a level of success for our life. However, you might define it. If it be you living a purposeful life, if it be you living a, 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 a life focused around ministry or even lastly, if it be you living a life to where you're prosperous. And that could be financially, that could be emotionally, that could be mentally, whatever it might be for you. Friends, let's talk. So we would love if you uh, mentioned us on Twitter, at SYS Podcast One. Let us know what you thought about the Blueprint to Success. And as always, friends, for more information on me, you can go to JonathanJonesSpeaks.com. I'll have that link down in the show notes, but making sure that you all have the opportunity to connect, make sure we have the ability to grow. Until next time, my friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? 